Hello there. Um, today, what I'm going to show you is how to connect from Ninja Trader, which is another trading platform, to your existing C Trader broker. Um, you might be asking, why would you want to do that? Um, mostly, it would be because Ninja Trader has certain charting features that C Trader doesn't. C Trader, on the other hand, has some very good features that Ninja Trader doesn't. I do like the layout of C Trader. I do like the fact that it's very easy to use. If you're a new trader, it's probably one of the most, you know, useful, well, probably one of the best trading platforms that you can start using. But because it's quite a new trading platform and it's got time to grow, even though they've been doing, you know, incremental releases, there are certain features that are missing that some traders really crying out for. So rather than traders complain about the missing features, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how you can use Ninja Trader's charting features, connect your existing C Trader broker, and then you can use C Trader and Ninja Trader at the same time, depending on what type of trading you're doing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is quickly open up a page that I found on the internet, which is here, and it's it's actually a connection guide for C Trader. And in here, it actually shows that um, they're allowing you to connect to your C Trader broker. Now, at the moment, when you use Ninja Trader, most of the data feeds, I think, I'm pretty sure you have to pay for. But if you're using your existing C Trader broker, you don't have to pay for it. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether you have to pay for the trading platform or not. You'd have to have a look. But if you go through the instructions on here, it'll actually tell you how to set up your C Trader broker account, how to authorize it with C Traders Cloud Services. And then when you start Ninja Trader, you're actually trading through your broker. So if your broker is IC Markets, Fondex, or FX Pro, these would be the, the uh, trades that would be going through that broker there um, with the fees and everything else that goes with it. But you can still use Ninja Traders charting features. Okay, so if you just follow the instructions down here to tell you everything you need to do, everything you need to do to do it. It only allows netting accounts, so it shows you how to make sure your account with C Trader is netting. So you can find this at this link at the top here. So what I'm going to quickly do is go to Ninja Trader show you Ninja Trader. So this is Ninja Trader. As you can see, um, it's very different from C Trader. I prefer C Trader personally, but Ninja Trader is better if you're looking at different, um, more advanced charting. So if I click on the little chart style up there, you've got a lot more options to choose from there. And on the drawing tools is there as well. There's a lot of drawing tools. But C Trader, on the other hand, has great trading uh, features as well and some very good chart features. So they're both, there's pros and cons with both of them. But um, if you are a C Trader user, rather than leave C Trader and go to Ninja Trader and pay for data feeds, um, you can pretty much just use the charting features of Ninja Trader while still connecting to your C Trader broker. Again, I'm not 100% sure if you have to pay for the platform or not. I think you just do a bit of research there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just quickly show you how that works. So I'm going to, I'm quite new to this, so give me a chance because I haven't, I've only just started looking at the Ninja Trader uh, connections here. So you just go to connections configure. Under configure, you'll see the C Trader beta. Double click on it. It'll add it to the bottom there. It says configure. And then when you click authorize, it authorizes your account. You go through the process steps that I showed you on the web page and you connect to your broker. Once you're connected to your broker, I'm going to leave it on end of day. The reason I'm not going to connect right now is because it did come up with a bit of a, um, an error and I'm not going to go through that error right now. I'm sure they'll solve it because it's in beta at the moment. So I'm just going to cancel this and I'm going to do connections end of day. Okay, it's just connected to end of day data. If you're using your uh, C Trader account, it would say connected to your C Trader account when, once this has been completed and they've actually uh, got it working. So this is Ninja Trader, as you can see. Some, you know, you might like it, you might not like it, but um, if you want the additional features, because it's a lot richer with features, it also has automated trading systems. Um, then this is what you would use, really. Now we have developed a product for this. I'm just going to quickly show you. So in the past, we were going to do Ninja Trader tools, um, but we did stop temporarily. I'm just going to show you one that we do have. Um, we've got to find out where it is now. If I go to new click agar alarm manager, we did this a while ago. And this is just to show you um, that, you know, we can build tools for the Ninja Trader trading platform. So if you do like our products and services and you want us to build more tools for Ninja Trader, we are available to do that. So a bit of a selling point there to show you what we can do. So there you go. That's how you do it. So you can use Ninja Trader's charting features. You can still use our products if you, you know, if we do develop more products for the Ninja Trader trading platform. Um, and you can use all the advanced features that come with Ninja Trader because um, it's a lot more advanced regarding other areas. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you want to find out more about us, I'm just going to drag this across. We're clickalgo.com. You can come to our website here and you can find out more about us. We're predominantly mostly C Trader related at the moment, um, but we have one product for Ninja Trader and we're thinking of doing more in the future. Okay, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Thank you.